Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Janet, the Journal Keeper. Welcome back if you've been before and if this is your first visit to my channel I hope you'll enjoy what you see and consider giving me a thumbs up, subscribing and pressing the bell so you're notified when I uh, upload a new video. Today we're starting on a Halloween project. It is going to use up my leftover Tim Holtz mini folders. I had a few of these left. I had a large one which I've made a cover. Uh, instead of leaving it like a folder, what I've done is cover it I, i've snipped off the tab covered it with some tim holtz material and i've made a start on the front i've used some uh, paper dolls from the halloween range um, one of the uh, windows from the frames and some black um, creepy cloth and some of the eyelash trim and a, a fold a piece of ephemera from uh, one of the Halloween uh, packs so what we'll make a start today on putting this together I haven't quite worked out exactly how I'm going to, when we're finished, how this will be stitched in. I, I was planning to just do a three hole stitch, which I'll probably still have a go at. I did then see a video by somebody who said it was very difficult to, to sew these like that. And you should do this alternative stitch. And to be honest, you know, I've said it before, I'm not an experienced sewer and this stitch looked very complex. You had to stitch them all together. It, it just looked a bit beyond my ability. So um, I think, we, you know, we're just going to work on this, get it together and then we'll see what happens at the end. So. Uh, it's been rather rainy, as some of you may know, my studio is outside. I do hope it doesn't start raining again. Okay, so to cover these pieces here, I'm going to put in a couple of um, inked uh, cards that I made. Um, I used um, seedless preserves um forest moss it, it, it's either that or peel, peeled paint or maybe both um ripe persimmon and i think i put some um vintage photo around the edge and it as you can see was sprinkled with water as well so the plan is to glue those in place and then we'll We'll do something on those, maybe do some collage or something like that. So I think that's what I'll do first is to get them stuck down. So I hope this finds you all well today. We're all fine except, well, after having no rain for months, it's really making up for it now, although we should be grateful because at least it will help bring reservoirs and rivers back up to normal and water the crops that are still in the fields that can benefit for it. A lot have been ruined because of our, our heat, extreme heat for us and um, lack of rainfall <clears throat> it's 
just clean up the interior down there. I've got all sorts of ephemera here ready to use to bring on this, make sure I've got that right. Yep. I made a little spine so these would fit in in here. Okay. I think I might just clamp those down. We can leave that to to dry while we get on with the the folders. that aside for now and make a start with the folders right I have got all sorts of bits and bobs here I've cut some little folders from one of the new Sizzix die sets and little folders I made this, uh, I think I saw this on Instagram, I wish I could remember who it was, I should have written it down. Somebody made a pocket using calico that had been stamped with script, so I had a go at doing that. Made a pocket here, I've got a little title put in there somewhere. made a few more dies as well we can use them and to decorate with that's a little tag to go in there i think we could put that on there but do we want to cover that first i think we might Cut some paper from the Halloween backdrops to cover the um, cover these. If we needed to. Let's hope it stops raining. Well, still drizzling a little bit. Let's hope it doesn't get any. Any harder because I think it might make rather a noise on the roof. on 
there. to just trim the corner of that off because of the okay that looks rather nice I think yeah I might do something with that uh, I have got one more that I made We can put somewhere else. I think I can hear a bit of thunder now. Oh goodness. I might not have picked the right day to to do this. Or is it somebody moving something? I have to turn in here because I've got my door closed. It's certainly a rumbling noise anyway. the house slightly. I need to trim that so yeah so it needs to be able to fold it. Trim the sewing. So, sorry, I hit the lamp there. Got some children dressed in their Halloween outfits. I'm assuming that's what it was supposed to be since it was in a Halloween. I wanted to use that in sort of in a flip out of some kind. So I was thinking maybe you could use it on one of these folders. Oh, I've got to...
okay um i just stopped that so i could trim some more pieces of paper from the uh, halloween backdrops to cover the pages and i'm going to just ink that in place you might be able to hear the rain on the roof I don't know whether they microphone will pick that up or not it's not too bad at the moment if it gets very heavy i might have to stop So, what could we put behind the children there? Onto that. Let's see what we've got here. Put that on there and then put them over it. Where do we want that? Okay. Well, I think I'm going to have to stop because the rain's getting harder and I don't want, you know, you to have to listen to the sound of it over me. So I'm going to put this on hold and see how it goes. Okay, I've, rain seems to have eased up now, so I thought I would carry on again. Put the lights on. Okay, so so far, where did, where was I when we left it? Oh yes, we we're working on this, weren't we? Okay, so we've got this as a little flip out. 
not sure what I want to do with that yet. So I think I'm going to leave that for now. I cut some circles out of some of the um, backdrops and sewed those together and I thought I might make one as a belly band and then it could have like a small um, journaling card through it or a tag of some sort. Let's see if that would work. I mean that might be too big that tag. Yeah, some, perhaps something a bit smaller than that. Just looking through this ephemera pack here, in quite large pieces. I think if we're just going to put that over, we don't really need a lot in there anyway. I just might do with this, I think going to have the belly band over it. Okay. Right. Doesn't need to go like that. Can work. I think so.
I'll leave that to dry before we do anything more to that. Um, Another look at this. Here, I think. I was going to glue that whole thing on but then I thought it could be a little tuck spot so I'm going to put that there and I think we'll leave that blank for writing so that can go on there and um, can have a little card or something in there that will do that when we finish off that in place. If anyone has any other ideas about securing these into the journal, I'd certainly be grateful to hear about them. Okay, so I've got that flip out there. I might change my mind about that, we'll leave that there for now. 
Okay, we've got the belly bands here, which I feel we ought to put something on there. And we've got the two pockets, which we've done already. Okay. I have got a library card here, which I did think we could put on there and we could collage this and then put something about a creepy book there. Right. To cover that first. I think Mandy from Sunflowers and Doors sent me this. I thank you, Mandy. I'm finding a use for it now. That's a sticky label. Oh. It's just something on the back there. I think it is. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's very sticky. Ah, uh, well, it's a bit slightly off on that. Oh, that's annoying. Clean up. That's better. It makes that look slightly crooked. That work. We'll put things over that. That's very sticky. Don't lay that down unless you're sure that's where you want it. Okay. Hey, what have we got here? Just wonder if any of these actually fit quite. Oh, yes, they'll fit.
That on that could also be a little tuck spot there. Trim that off. Okay, got pretty messy here. I think we'll leave it there for this one and um, we'll come back and continue on, hopefully finish decorating the um, folders. So thank you all very much for watching. Sorry about the rain interruption and um, I hope you will all come back and see the second part and I hope you all stay safe and well and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.